Hey guys, Frank Itson in downtown Orlando at my law firm, Frank Itson PA on Orange Avenue, here to talk to you about one of the biggest problems I have representing auto accident clients and workers' compensation claimants, surveillance. I just got through looking surveillance on my client and the case is pretty much over. If you get injured on the job or in an auto accident and you're claiming significant injuries, you better rest assured that somebody's looking at you one way or another. The number one way they do it is they put a tail on you and they film you. They will be in surveillance. I've had them in Publix with people. I have them following them on Walmart. I've got them in their front yard doing stuff. And the bottom line is you get killed two ways. Number one, you've alleged that you can't work and they have you working under the table at a gas station. They've got you working somewhere else under another name. I can't tell you how many different ways my clients have been caught in an auto accident and on the job. Number two, you have work restrictions that you work outside of. So if the doctor has you where you're no lifting over 10 pounds and I see like this video that I just got through watching, my clients lifting about 30 pounds, they take that video to your doctor, they play it in his office, he takes his paper and he says, no restrictions, back to work, malingering, falsification of things. It doesn't happen all the time because I can pretty much figure it out if a client's trying to pass one by on me. But when you're home and I can't see you, I can't help you. Um, there's a couple other things you gotta watch out for and those are all the social media outlets. They go to your Facebook, they go to your Instagram, they go to your YouTube, and like me, you forget to put the privacy button on, anybody gets it, anybody. And then they tape it and they give it to your doctor or they give it to the judge and your case is over in an auto accident or in a worker's comp. I had a gentleman who had, was on his son's Facebook doing some things he shouldn't do. And therefore, when you sign up with me, you get this little piece of paper I send to everyone, and I'm just going to read the example I put in here to drive this way home. A local mail carrier was indicted by a federal government as she denied, <clears throat> as she claimed she hurt her neck on the job and received $193 in disability payments. That means she was getting a check every month and they were paying stuff. While on disability, she posted pictures of her snow skiing, scuba diving, and horseback riding on the beach along with a video of Club Med doing a flip on a trapeze. Guess what happened to her? Her Facebook information resulted in her pleading guilty on 17 counts of theft, fraud, and making false statements. She's now doing 18 months in prison and had to repay the 193 grand. Think before you post the internet's forever. If I represent you, we're gonna have a long discussion about that. Give me a call if you've been injured on the job in an auto accident or result of someone else's negligence. Visit my website, frankitson.com. Thank you so much for watching.